welcome to the data hall youtube channel so uh, in this video we are particularly going to discuss the de string command and uh, let me just uh, first give you uh, a quick regression of two variables just to give you an idea if this is the problem that you are facing then uh, uh, so this video is going to be helpful for you so let's just say we regress this closing variable in high right uh, i mean it's just uh, a regression um, i do not need to think about the theoretical justification for these variables so what we see is that there are no observations and we are getting uh, an error from this regression command although if we look over here we can see that there are 24 observations in this data set uh, let's also summarize to look into this uh, this data set now you would see that uh, there are zero observations for close variable there are zero observations for high variable although there are 24 observations for low and exchange but the rest of the variables have zero observations uh, let's look at the data view and see if uh, whether there are observations or not for these uh, variables now we can see that each of the observ each of the variable do have observations see we had close variable and we had high variable that we regressed uh, and the summarized variable didn't show any observation and the regress variable uh, told us that there are no observations but we can clearly look into this data view that there are observations now what is the issue now to understand this you can see there are multiple uh, you know colors over here we see that there is black then we can see there is red and then we can see there is blue <clears throat> now what these different colors indicate uh, black means that these observations are recognized by stata as numeric data if uh, let's go to stata and if i click on low variable you would see its type is float so float is a type of numerical uh, data right a numerical variable but if we look at uh, let's say high what it would show us is str12 so str stands for string that's what happening with the close variable so although they are numerical data but strata is reading them as a a text data a string data and string in uh, strata means it is a text data right so all the reds uh, in strata it means they are uh, they are text data they are strings and the blue means that although they look string but at the back end there is a number so if we look at the exchange variable there are two uh, distinct categories binance and xyz i just created this data for this video so it isn't a real data so binance uh, at the back and it do have a value of one and xyz have a value of two and so on and so forth if there were other categories then it would have a different number but the point is blue means uh, they are looking as uh, you know uh, a text data but actually they are uh, numerical data right and if we click on the variable it would show us a long type or long is also a type of uh, numerical data so there are different numerical datas uh, data types so there is double there is long there is float right now uh, uh, one more thing that uh, sometimes you are let's just say from preferences uh, you are using different uh, scheme of uh, you know coloring scheme in strata so sometimes if if you were using uh, say uh, say a dark scheme let me just convert it to dark uh, so so the background instead of white it looks uh, black the strata would also change the coloring scheme so it doesn't re really means that uh, you know now it is yellow rather than red and now it is white rather than black so the point is that uh, there are different data types and uh, strata colors them differently so that you can easily view them now coming back to our issue obviously they are numerical datas but somehow they had been interpreted as 
theoret- as uh, sorry as uh, as string data so we need to tell stata to convert them into string uh, to to numerical data the command for that is de string right this is the command that we use and we can access this command from the menu we click on data then we go on create or change variable uh, then uh, we click on transformation and then we we come over here convert variable from string to numeric this is what we are looking at and the command is de string but we would work with the the command line right rather than the menus so once we understand command uh, menus are easy so let's look at the help menu of de string the syntax is we start with the command name then write the list of variables so it would accept list of variables we can write one variable or multiple variables comma then we have two options either we can generate a new variable right the new variable would be numeric and or we can replace the existing variable without creating any new variable uh, and lastly we have different options that we can use so uh, the simple command would be uh, if you wanted to convert would be de string replace and if you do not give it a variable list then it would try to convert all these variables into uh, let me just increase the font size of these variables it would try to convert all these variables into numeric so let's run this command de string comma replace so it would take close try to convert it into numeric variable and instead of creating a new variable it would just replace the current variables values so uh, okay let's look at the output it says no replace no replace what does no replace means that the current variable wasn't converted into numeric right uh, because it contains non-numeric characters we would look into them later on but there was one uh, variable that was already in numeric which was low and we also saw, uh, saw that over here uh, there was one variable called open that was all converted into double uh, that is a numerical type uh, and the rest of the variables weren't converted so if we go to the data view we can see low was already in numeric form and open is converted into numeric form and those values uh, that were missing are converted into you know this missing characters which is dot these weren't con converted because stata wasn't sure uh, whether we should convert them or not so we'll look into these how should we convert them so let's start with the uh, the first variable the high variable right so the issue with the high variable is that uh, it to have a character called dollar you know if these are in dollars these values are in dollars and we have ex imported them from csv or excel file or downloaded this data from web then there would be this character dollar so stata do not know what to do with this so what we can do is we can use this ignore uh, uh, option so we call we say ignore uh, sorry d string the high variable convert this high variable from string to uh, numeric uh, replace the current variable do not generate any new variable ignore the dollar sign so if we do that uh, what we get is uh, only the numeric values right so ignore would ignore the the that specific characters what's the issue with this uh, volume it it have a, a character called null, null so what what if we just ignore the null so let's run this but we get an error it says that it isn't replaced because contains non numeric specified character now the issue is that if we look at volume let me just sort this volume i usually it's a good idea to sort these variables and look into them because then all these same types of uh, values would be at one point and you can clearly see that it's not just null that is the character type the rest of the values are numeric but it is null n a and x y z these all are non numeric values so if we were to use ignore then we would have to give null then space na then space xyz but that uh, might be practical in uh, practical in this case but let's just say you do not know how many different types of values non numeric values are there then you cannot use this ignore um, option rather there is uh, another option which is force what force would do is it would keep the non numeric and convert all the sorry it would keep the numeric values 
and convert the non-numeric values into a missing value. So let's execute this and you would see that all those non-numeric characters were converted into missing value. But remember to use this, this command cautiously, right? Because let's just say if uh, I was to use d string comma replace force, I haven't given any variable name what it would do. I just, uh, you know, we just discussed it. It would convert, try to convert all the variables. So let's try this command. What, what would happen? Let's see it. So what happened is that the crypto name will, wouldn't be in, uh, you know, the numeric type. It would always be a character type, a string type. But it tried to convert it and because we used the force option, so it simply converted them into missing values. The same happened with the close and the percentages. So the idea is to use this force option uh, cautiously. So let me just uh, get back my data because I just deleted it. So use the clear option. Uh, okay. So I have my data, the original data. It isn't converted, right? Any variable isn't converted. I just got the data back. Now one more option there is, there is this variable called percentage. And if you look at this variable, you would see that they are in percentage form, but, but we want to convert them into a fractional form. So there is this option of percentage. So we write the command name, variable name, comma, replace, and then the option percentage. What it would do is it would take these percentages rather than just if you, if you were to use ignore percentage sign, yes. if you were to use this thing over here, uh, right, instead of this percentage option, what it would do is it would just remove this percentage sign and convert this variable into numeric form. But this is not what we want. We want uh, this variable to be converted into fraction form. So rather than having 29.84, we should have 0.2984. So that's where the percentage sign, uh, percentage option comes in. So, so this is how it is converted, right? Okay. Mm, uh -huh. Okay. One more option we can see over here this variable uh, do have a comma, but this comma doesn't indicate, uh, uh, you know, uh, the unit of the numbers, but rather it is. Uh, used uh, uh, for as a replacement for a decimal point and I mean I'm not sure why someone would use that but it happens uh, sometimes so we want this comma to be converted into decimal point so d string the variable name replace dp comma so it would replace the comma with uh, the decimal and convert it into numeric form Lastly, uh, if you were to use the generate option, uh, I mean, instead of replace, in all our above example, we have used replace. Uh, we weren't creating a new variable, we were replacing the current variable. But if you, you were to use a generate option, you would write generate and then the variable name, right, uh, within the parentheses. But in this case, what I'm doing is I'm trying to convert uh, open and volume into uh, uh, into numeric form but at the same time I'd, I want to keep these original variables so I would generate a new variable called open one and volume one right uh, you can use more than one variable or one variable which I, which way you like and because there are this XYZ NA and null that I discussed over here uh, uh, when I, we were discussing the force option, I'm going to use the force option. So it would generate two new variable, open one, that would contain the values of open, but now they're in numeric form, and the volume one that would contain the values of volume, but now they are in numeric form, and as before, all the non-numeric uh, characters are converted into missing values. So I hope uh, you have uh, learned something and it might solve uh, your problem someday. Uh, if you want to download the, uh, the do file or the data file for, for exercise purposes, you can click uh, on the link given in description and uh, do like this video and subscribe it.